This is an article that came out in RT News, and I will leave the link to this article in the description box, March 9th, 2018. Hysteria in the United States over China in Africa. See, Trump sat in a meeting and called Africa a shithole. This is now spreading all over the continent. So what do they do? They conveniently get Rex Tillerson over there to tour the African nations to talk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, talk to people. Nobody wants to hear this garbage. I promise you, they're still going to be leaning towards China when America get done talking. Because, see, people aren't about talking anymore. We're in a day and age of action. So if you're not willing to show the kind of things that people want or give them what they want, you pretty much got death ears as soon as you start opening your mouth. Death ears. Washington seems to be quite hysterical over Beijing's growing influence in Africa. China is starting to play first fiddle on the continent by investing in its infrastructure. American author and historian Gerald Horn told RT. The U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson started his African tour, oh how convenient, around the time when Africa knows Trump called them a shithole. All of a sudden Rex Tillerson crops up in Africa. Um, so he started his African tour with a warning that a country may lose control of its own infrastructure or forfeit sovereignty by accepting loans from China. You know what? They won't lose any more than they have to the U.S. Now, you're sitting here talking about what they're going to lose well, what are they going to gain from the U.S.? What are you going to do to make the infrastructure better in China? Nothing. This is why he's going around on tour doing no more than <laughs> talk, talk. That's it. That, it. That's all he's going to deliver to Africa and then get the hell out of there. That's not good enough. You know, see... They're so used to just getting everything handed to them. Now we are in the day and age of competition and America in no means is ready to compete on the same level as China. At this point, they can wave bye-bye to Africa. They are not going to convince the people to give up all the gains they got from China in their infrastructure from a bunch, you know, for a bunch of lip service from the U.S. Nobody's going to do that. Tillerson was speaking in the capital of Ethiopia, a major recipient of Chinese aid. Horn says that Washington has every reason to be concerned about playing second fiddle in China. There's a fear in the U.S. that sooner or later, the Chinese economy, if not already, will be larger than the U.S. economy, which will have a monumental impact on the balance of forces globally and strategically, Horn said, speaking to RT in an interview. The historians believe that there is indeed some kind of U.S. hysteria over the One Belt, One Road initiative, which has been recently promoted by China, unveiled by President Ying Jinping back in 2015. The ambitious project aims to extend China multi-trillion dollar trade across the globe. And that's exactly what they're doing. And that's why I put out that video yesterday showing you how China's all in Latin America right now, getting all types of trade deals. And, and see, and Trump is just sitting back and insulting these people. So every time he insults a country and their leader, 
you know, like in Mexico and Venezuela, China looks at that as an opportunity for them to swoop on in there and start making deals with that country. And that's exactly what they've been doing all around the globe. They know how poorly America has treated the African people. They know how poorly they have been in handling African people, just like they went in there with the gay agenda. If they didn't accept gays, they withheld funding from countries. See, people are tired of that. Africa needs an infrastructure built up. They don't need you coming in there talking about some all this nonsense that's not going to help the continent at all. How is a gay agenda going to help the continent of Africa? Is that going to put roads in Africa? Is it going to put railways like what China's doing? Is it going to put all types of people to work? Is it going to um, give them the internet? You're not doing nothing but screaming about withholding money and running your mouth all across Af Africa. That's played out. That's played out. If you can't produce something that's substantial for that continent, I can tell you Rex Tillerson is wasting his time and taxpayer money touring Africa, just running his mouth. Okay, moving on. Um... Initially, it aimed to connect China to Southeast and Central Asia by land and the Middle East and Europe by sea, but later developed to include East Africa. For context, China has invested two point, I'm sorry, 3.2 billion in Kenya's rail network while the U.S. gives the country $100 million annually in security assistance. You know, that's one thing you can count on. Whatever the U.S. gives, it's going to be self-serving. It's not going to benefit the people at all. The United States is the leading aid donor to Africa, but uh, China surpassed it as a trade partner in 2009 pumping billions into infrastructure project. China has thereby become the largest job creator on the continent in less than two decades. America has been in the African continent raping out the resources for centuries. And they never put a large amount of people to work. They never built up the infrastructure in that country. They never did anything other than help themselves in Africa, including helping yourself to the people there and making them slaves. That's the only thing you've done. There is nothing to be proud of as far as what America has done in Africa, nothing. According to a recent article by China's ambassador to the UK, China has aided, excuse me, or financed the building of 5,000 kilometers of railway and roads, built more than 200 schools and 100 hospitals and trained more than 160,000 professional workers in Africa. Okay, America, where's your resume for what you've done in Africa? Okay, we know it's nothing. It should be noted that Africans are concerned about what will happen when China satisfies its primary interests. You know, really, nobody should be there. But at least China is giving them things they never had before. Now, do I think China or America or anybody from Europe should be there? No. I think it's okay to trade 
with the continent without having a presence in the continent. That's how I feel. Yeah, you should trade with other countries. That's how you make um, money. But none of them have to have a real presence in the country in order to trade. Which of course the continent's raw material like oil, timber, and minerals. Horn explains that while China tend to favor and to stress civilian projects, the US put emphasis on fighting terrorism. Well, here's the problem. America has been fighting terrorism in the Middle East fighting terrorism in Africa. And does that put food on the table for anybody? Does that help the African people in their day-to-day -day life? You know, see, America only want to do things in America's interest, not in the best interest of others. That's the problem. And it's been an ongoing problem for centuries. This is why Everybody is gravitating away from America because, see, they know what you're all about. You're a bully. And if you got a presence anywhere, it's because it's all about you and no one else. We know how you operate. That's how you operate here in America. It's all about you and no one else. Okay, um, Tillerson's second stop. Um, is the U.S. military base, which is over there in Africa. Again, why do you have to have a military president? Just get your asses out of Africa, seriously. You know, what point would it be, let's say hypothetically, we were to go back to Africa. I wouldn't go unless all of these foreigners clear out first. What's the point in sitting here with people that hate you and then go to Africa and the same goddamn people are there that hate you. Fuck that. No, we shouldn't have to go anywhere until they clear out Africa. They clear it out. Get their asses the hell out permanently. If that is not the case, if we got to look at the same faces here in the United States and the same faces over there in Africa, forget it. It wouldn't be worth our while to leave. And plus, we're the first people on the globe. Every damn square inch belongs to us. Okay. Um, let me get back to this article. The emphasis on the so-called terrorism is not so hidden. Agenda Horn said, explaining that the U.S. is able to build up relations with African militaries. <sighs> This is not helping anybody in Africa. Therefore, if a regime comes to power in an African nation that is somehow interpreted as hostile to U.S. interests, again, self-serving, the pre-existing relationship with the African military under the guise of terrorism will facilitate a military coup or worse, he said. But see, that's what America does. That's why Mugabe is now out of power because of Western influence. See, that's all they want to give to Africa. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Western nations don't want to do nothing else. That's all they want to do is hook up with the military and then make sure they got people in power with the interests of the West. Anybody that's a coon that they can just throw a little money at and America can keep them in their back pocket. Again, how does this help the African people in their day-to-day -day life? It doesn't. This is why, if this is all you wanna give Africa, you can count on China taking it all. Okay, 
yet Beijing is playing on the security field as well. China will help to tackle hot issues in Africa, such as terrorism, privacy, natural disasters, foreign minister, Yang Yi said during a press conference on Thursday, Africa is now facing two major tasks to safeguard its peace and security and to have its development encouraged, Yang added. Besides the rivalry, rivalry with China, Tillerson visit to Africa is overshadowed by Washington's own record on the continent, which is terrible, terrible. Okay, so you're fighting against China with a terrible track record with Africa. <laughs> Horn explains that centuries of exploitation of black slaves, support for apartheid in South Africa, and recent remarks by Trump about shithole countries haunt the visit of the secretary. So there you go. They're damn near in Africa begging now because see, the bottom line is no matter what or how nasty they talk about these people, they can't live without the resources there. They can't. This is why America has a military presence there. France and Germany, they all do because no matter how much and rotten things they say about Africa, their asses can't live without that continent. I don't care how much shit they talk at the end of the day, they can't live without it. If they could do without Africa, Rex Tillerson wouldn't be over there today. See, Trump knows he fucked up. He can't show his face in that continent now. He has no choice but to send someone like Rex Tillerson. And just teaming up with African militaries, that's just serving the interests of America and the Western nations and protecting those resources. That's what it's all about. It, it ain't about the people in Africa. It's about themselves. It's what we have seen for centuries. If America wanted to do right by Africa, we would have seen it by now. We haven't seen it and you're not going to see it. You know what they'll do? When they know China is winning over by building up the infrastructure over in um, Africa. So as far as the PR war, America has already lost Africa. Uh, right along with the other Western nations, they've already lost. You know, like I said, we are in the day and age of competition and America is only showing that it can't compete with China on any level. China even owns the debt here in America. America cannot compete with China. And you can look up the articles. The articles are already out there saying by 2020, which is two years from now, China's economy will be the largest on earth. That will be a very significant thing. Very significant. So they're pretty much setting it up to let you know by 2020, China will be the biggest superpower on the earth, having the most money and owning America's debt and surpassing America economically, which I really believe they already have. You know, if they didn't, you would not have Rex Tillerson in Africa groveling for their attention. Now they're ready to go to Africa and show love that they haven't shown for centuries. Tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. Join me on Black Junction TV and Black spot.com. And ladies and gentlemen, don't be discouraged by what you're seeing here. 
this is prophecy unfolding. This is exactly how it's supposed to go down. So as long as we see things like this, you know the end is near. Peace, family.